I'm Dallas. I'm Dante. I'm Jen. I'm Miranda. I'm Joel. And this is Bridge One Kids. One, two, three, Bridgewood Kids! Yeah! Woo! We are so excited. Oh, yeah. Jacked up, pumped up. You wanna know why? Because Bridgewood Kids is on. We're about ready to have the ride of our lives. This oh, yeah. experience is gonna be so cool, so awesome. We've got amazing music, worship. We've got fun games, connection time, where we get to connect with one another. We have that thing called an interactive lesson. Oh yeah. You may even recognize a person or two on the screen. You never know. But before we make it all happen, we need you to be part of it. So are you ready, kids? Let's grab our seat belts. Let's pull them over. Let's buckle them, click. Yep, I heard all the clicks. Our team is ready. Oh yeah. And we know you're ready, but we need one more thing to make it all happen. We want to hear from you. So on three, we want you to make your loudest noise. And believe me, we're gonna hear you. Yeah. We are yeah. gonna hear them. All right, here we go. One, one two, two, three. Wow, they sound amazing, you guys. Yeah. Super loud. Loving all the noise. We're excited. All right, it's on Bridgeway Kids Experience. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome game segment here at Bridgewood Kids. This is more of an activity that we're gonna do this week rather than a game. You're getting ready to learn all about two brothers. They were twins actually, but God made them very unique, just like he made each one of you guys unique. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get together with your small group and your small group leader is gonna have you guys do some tasks. These tasks are gonna show your uniqueness and it's also gonna give you guys an opportunity to get to know each other better as a group. Are you guys ready? Let's make it happen.
Is an ocean, you can drown me. The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste the sea. I'm under grace, the place to be. It means I'll never need an umbrella. I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather. Whether or never I ever understand, I'm a man in the hands of great plans. I stand with faith and a life I never known to touch. And still, I saw my clutch, but I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? Live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. So, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? And live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living. Living yeah. now Welcome back to another awesome week here at Bridgewood Kids. Hey kids, let's start out our time together with a fun activity to get all of our wiggles out. Are you guys ready? If you're a twin, stand up. If you have a set of twins in your family, stand up. If you've ever thought it would be super fun to be a twin, stand up. If you know what a twin is, stand up. Hmm. All right, so now we should all be standing. Let's go ahead and shake all of our wiggles out. Oh, Ooh. all right, ready. Wow, that felt really good to shake out our wiggles. All right, kids, everybody back to your seats. Find where you are sitting. Are you guys all sitting down? Are we ready to begin again? Yes. I think so. But wait a minute, Jen. Why did we just play that game? That's a very great question. Today's story is all about a set of twins. Joel is going to play Jacob, and Dante is going to play Esau. Oh, I know this story. And these weren't just any twins. They were actually the grandchildren of Abraham. Father Abraham had and many sons. sons. Yeah, he had son. many sons had Father Abraham. And Jen, I am one of them. And so are you. Okay, so let's your... just praise the Lord. Right on. Do you guys remember Abraham and Isaac from last week's story? 
These twins in our story are the sons of Isaac. Now Isaac grew up and he married a woman named Rebecca. In today's story, Dallas is going to play Isaac and I'm going to play his wife, Rebecca. For many years, Isaac and Rebecca could not have children. This made them really, really sad. Isaac and Rebecca prayed and asked God for children. And God is good. He heard their prayers and he answered them by not only giving them one baby, but giving them two babies, twins. While Rebecca was still pregnant, something strange happened. The twins inside her belly wrestled with each other. Oh, oh Lord, why is this happening to me? God spoke to Rebecca and told her that her sons would be the fathers of two different nations, but that their younger son's nation would be much stronger than the older son's nation. Do you guys have siblings? Are you guys the same as your siblings or are you really, really different from one another? These two boys were very different. As they grew up, Esau, the older son, loved to be outside hunting and spending time in nature. Esau was his father's favorite son. Now Jacob, on the other hand, was happy to stay close to home. Jacob was his mother's favorite son. As the oldest son, Esau had certain privileges in the family. As the eldest, Esau was expecting a very special blessing from his father before he died. These privileges and this special blessing were a really big deal. The blessing was a message from God about the future and it could only be given one time. Come along with us in Genesis 27 as we see this story unfold. Esau, Esau, my oldest son, go hunt for me and bring back some wild game for me to eat so I can give you the birthright before I die. Oh. Isaac knew he was nearing the end of his life, so he called for his son Esau and asked him to prepare a meal before giving him his special blessing. The twins' mother, Rebecca, had other plans. Remember, Jacob was her favorite. Rebecca wanted Jacob to have the blessing instead of Esau. Rebecca plotted to trick her husband Isaac into blessing Jacob instead. While Esau, the oldest son, was out hunting, Rebecca told Jacob, go out into the flock and bring me two choice young goats so that I can prepare the food for your father. Jacob did as his mother had asked. Rebecca even dressed Jacob like Esau to make sure that their plan worked. Who is it? It's me, your firstborn, Esau. Esau. Is that really you? It's me, your son. Isaac must still have questioned which son was there because he didn't give him the blessing right away. After he finally ate, he hugged Jacob and he smelled the smell on Esau's clothes. Now Isaac was sure that it was Esau, so Isaac blessed his son. Oh, this is my son, Esau, with the bowl of stew. Oh, it's good stew. You have the birthright, son. You have the birthright. Esau. That was an awful trick. When Esau learned about it, he was furious. Esau demanded that his father bless him too, but the special blessing could only be given once. Jacob would be the son who received the blessing of the Messiah coming from his family. Do you guys remember all the way back to the beginning of the story? When the twins wrestled in Rebecca's belly, who did God tell Rebecca would be the son whose nations would be stronger? It was Jacob. God told her Jacob would be the father of the nation that was stronger than Esau's nation. 
God knows the future and nothing ever surprises him. God is Lord. So what exactly does that mean that God is Lord? It means that God is the master. He is the creator. He knows all things. Unfortunately, Rebecca and Jacob did not trust God in this situation. They didn't believe God would bring about his plan for Jacob. So they tricked Isaac. In spite of Rebecca and Jacob's bad behavior, God still loved them. Did you know that even when you do the wrong thing, even when you try to outsmart God or make a bad choice, that he still loves you? He is the Lord over your life and he still has great plans for you. We can trust God because of all of the things we know about him to be true. The better we know God, the easier it is to trust him. God is Lord. So even when you're confused, feel alone or can't see his plan for your life, he's there. God had a plan for Jacob and for Esau in his story. And God has a plan for you. Let's pray and ask for help to trust him now. Lord, we thank you for this day and we thank you for these students. I pray that you would um, let them know that you have a plan for their life, Lord, even when they feel alone, even when they feel confused or they're not sure that you have a plan. I pray that you would remind them that you do and that they would be able to do everything that you're asking them to do, even if they're afraid. We thank you, Lord, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now over to trivia time. All right, Dante, this has been a really awesome experience because we have talked about the story of Jacob and Esau, and it's all about God is Lord. That's the theme of our segment that we call Trivia, trivia time. time. Question number one, what was so special about being the firstborn son? And question number two, why was the blessing from Isaac so important? Question number three, who did Isaac want to bless? In question four, who had God chosen to be blessed? Well, I love these questions, Dante. Mm -hmm. Not only are they gonna help us with this lesson about God is Lord, but I have a sibling, a brother, and you do I too. I do too, yeah. So we can relate to Jacob and Esau, of can't course. we? Oh yeah. And I believe you're the oldest like I am. Uh-huh. Mmm, got that thing going. Well, oh, yeah. here's the deal, guys. We want you to go and discuss these questions. So get going. All because of you, all because of you, 
all because of you What's up kids? I'm Joel and we're back for this week's rendition of The Big Rewind. In today's story, we learned about a special set of twins, Jacob and Esau. Esau was the older of the twins, so he was supposed to receive his blessing from his father Isaac. But Jacob and his mother created a sneaky plan to steal that blessing. So that leads us to our big idea. God is Lord. Jacob and his mom did not make the right decision. But God was Lord over that situation and he had grace for Jacob and Rebekah, his mom. So in the same way, God has grace over us. Did you know that we can make wrong decisions and God still has grace for us? That is because God is Lord. You get the idea, now on to our big Bible blast. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Psalm 92. All right kids, there's that scripture verse for this week. Now take that home, memorize it with a friend or a family member, and just do that because it's important that we hide God's word in our heart. So take that scripture verse, stick it in your thinker, and remember it. So that's all we have for this week at Bridgewood Kids. We'll see you guys next week. Esau was older than Jacob just by a little bit. Just by a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. But Jacob and his mother created a sneaky plan to steal that blessing. 
<laughs> I almost... <coughs> That'll look funny because I even like made the face of starting and then I was like, oh my god.